Welcome back to Let's Play Faunasphere. We're going to look at our totem today. We want to fund our totem, so we will need some lux to put in here. It automatically comes up with a hundred lux. And if we check our goods, we see we've got some lux to put in. Now we want to deposit more than that because we want it pumping out pretty fast. So we can highlight it and type in the amount of lux we would like to start with. And we're going to go with a thousand. And we must click this deposit button or it's all for naught. And you can see current funds are 1,000. There's another box to withdraw funds if you would want to do that at some other time. We'll click Next. And now we set the speed. How fast do we want it to produce? Now we're going to use the slider bar and decide how much it's going to produce per hour. And if you watch the buttons, it goes up how many we're doing and how much it's going to cost. The faster you produce, the more it costs. We want to produce the most we can right now, so we'll click on that and go to set the pricing. We want to make a profit or else our totem won't grow, so it's got to be above that line. That's our break-even line. Will this slider work very well? Probably not. But we'll try and hit it on 70 and then click Done and go to our world gate and jump to the frozen world. We need to make a friend so we can go visit their totem and see how that part of totems works. So we need to find somebody and we're going to take a little break or we did already and we come back now I've already typed in what I want to say. This is how we chat with people in the worlds. And this is our setting button. I want to make sure that they can actually befriend me. So I better take those settings off there. And we'll see what happens trying to make a friend. ask them again. Oh, they're already trying. Alright, we won't type that. We'll say sorry. Checked our settings. Oh, she already sees I've got my settings. Oh, now she's tried again. So you can see how fast conversations go. Mm, makes for quite a bit of confusion sometimes when you're trying to talk to people. Oh look, they have a hoofer that looks just like us. We're twins. So we've thanked them for friending us. and said we'd go visit their totem. And they said they'd do the same thing. Oh uh, look, here's Yoshi. Yo, what's up? Well, we'll tell them. We're trying to friend so I can visit a totem for that goal. But as we're typing, they move on with their gameplay. So we'll compliment them on their hat. It's always good. Compliments get you a lot of uh, good vibes, I think. See, they're laughing and saying thanks. Let's try this friend thing again. And when you're trying to type fast, you end up with a lot of typo knees.
and they friended us. Now if you notice, there's somebody that wasn't in our conversation talking. They're having a separate conversation. We're going to try and ignore that conversation. We're thanking Yoshi for befriending us and saying that we will visit their totem. And we're going to ignore the other conversation entirely because we don't want to get into that kind of drama. At least not today. So, we're going to jump out of here. And we will pull up our friend list, which is down here in this button. And expand the list. And now you can see we have some people on our list. The ones with the little arrows beside them are online. The ones that don't have an arrow are offline. If you click the arrow, you could jump to them, unless their settings say that um, they've got blocking jumped. Or you could click on the bar and report someone if uh, something horrible happens in the game. Or you could block them if they are just totally freaking annoying. Or you could type in the box down here at the bottom and have a private message go to them. Let's go over to the friend gate and see everybody's on our, our gate now. So we will go to one and oh, what a pretty sphere they've got. And I see their totem right over here. We won't have to use the map to find it. And it says to be a patron, we've got to buy 60. Now if you buy in larger quantities at a time, you can get a bit of a discount. So we'll buy 25 and 25. And then we need 10 more, which we'll have to buy individually. And we don't want to press the button too fast because it's noted that as you get down to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, that it might not register. Just a little game glitch sometimes. So we want to make sure we get credit because we don't have a lot of lux. Then we'll click on the gift box because this is important. We want to leave a nice thank you gift. And we've got some flowers and everybody loves flowers so we're going to leave them some flowers. Just drag it over in that box and if you click on it again you can drag it back and change your mind but we're gonna give them the same flower and then we're gonna type our message here because this is where messages to and from people can be left and we're going to thank them for befriending us and we're going to just casually mention that we made patron hoping that they will make patron back and we're going to end it with a nice little smiley face of course and then we'll click send and it says thank you so you know it worked and if you wanted to you could drag another over and leave another message if you wanted to your name will be at the bottom of that message when they get it but those are your totems and now we're going home see you later